Hi, I'm here at the Pyramids of Giza, and I just wanted to, somebody had asked the question about how you show the weather controls in Flight Simulator, and I was just going to show how you do it. It's real simple. You just go up here to the toolbar, toggle the weather, and the other thing I didn't show in my video last night that I really like is you can also change the time of day. So if you want to show this at sunrise or at nighttime, you know, you can come all the way down here to nighttime. That's actually pretty bright for nighttime. But this is a, you know, you can go to sunset. Let's see if you can get a good, uh, good sunset, you know. So let me fly around a little bit and I'll show you some of the areas of the pyramids. I wish these little lights they had were at least on a pole. They show these lights that are meant for it to be seen from the sky. My machine just kind of froze up for a second. I think it's just waking up in the morning like I am. Okay, give this a sec, and hopefully I didn't just freeze up. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I was just kind of stuck for a second. Okay, let me back up a little. Okay, so here's the... Oh, those rocks are kind of floating. That's kind of not so great. I didn't notice that last time I was here. Go over here and look at this one. You can see there's three different sizes of them. Let me see if I can back out a little bit so you can see all three at once. Where's the other two? There's two. Let me back up a little bit. I know there's three. I just want to see where the third one's at. Or there's more. Than, there's the third one. It's back. I think. Is that the small one? It's dark. Let me turn the... I don't see very well in the dark. So you can go to clear skies. And I can go to... That was strange. If that changed the darkness when I did that. But... So... Okay. There's the... Th little, that's the, the one that's kind of partially... There's the third one right there. And then there's a partial constructed one over here. Go down a little bit. So they even have some little bus tours coming out here. So this is the partially constructed little thing over here. And then we'll just quickly go over here and look at the minimum, the small one. My dog wants to go out. So I've got to do this real quick. I, don't know, I still think it's <clears throat> the Egyptians just came here and found these pyramids and said we're going to live here. I don't, personally don't buy into the Egyptians built it, but I don't want to offend any Egyptians if that's what they believe. But I think something else built these, but who knows. Still pretty neat though. But anyway, the time controls is, you know, it's, it's definitely, let's go to live weather. So that gets us live weather and then we can you know, adjust our time. I don't think, I don't know how often it snows at the pyramids, but you can have it snow. Let me change the time of day. So now we've got a snowy pyramid scene, if you ever wanted to have a snowy pyramid scene. But anyway, that was my little, somebody had asked the question of how you show the the weather, and it's just a little cloud thing right here. But the, the let me go to some scattered clouds. But this the time controls is another super cool thing being able to shoot the same scene you know at nighttime the lights come on and it, you know this is like i don't know to me it's the best environment software i've ever seen but i mean google earth is neat for some things but this is better to me but all right thanks for watching just a short video